why would there be a surge like this in hepatitis cases? Well, I can only talk in very general terms, I'm afraid, because I don't think anybody really knows the answer. But, the, but our babies, our toddlers and our children uh, have had a very tough time during lockdown in a very different way from adults, in that the, uh, the usual way that they progress through their, their lives is that they come into contact with uh, viruses and bacteria for the first time. They catch that illness and then develop the resistance. Uh, and then the next time they come in contact with that illness, they can fight it off. So because everybody's been in lockdown, they've not come into contact with those illnesses. And so now, as we're now starting to mix and children are going back to school and toddlers are toddling with other people in playgroups, is that they're picking up illnesses very quickly and, uh, and have not got that resistance. So we're seeing an awful lot of children who are getting a lot of illnesses one after the other. I, I usually find myself saying to, to mums and dads that uh, the average toddler is going to get you know, six or seven illnesses a year. But now I think they're, I think we're revising that upwards to sort of 12 illnesses in the year. So they're having a very tough time. And so as a result of that, we're seeing children who are, who are really quite sick. We've had memos out from the Department of Health about, about hepatitis, as you say, we've got to look out for children who've got those symptoms. But the latest one, of course, is the, is the, is the coincidence of chicken pox and streptococcal sore throats. So children are getting those illnesses combined, and although each of them is very easy to treat, when you get them together, they can cause very serious illness. So that's the background. I'll shut up if you want to ask questions. Yes, but that's the background. No, if you don't mind, that, would be quite, that would be fairly useful. Um, look, <laughs> what, what do parents need to look out for with hepatitis? Because we know there's, there's A, B and C, and they're all quite different, aren't they? So the thing about this hepatitis is that it's not A, B, C, D, or E. So those are the sort of standard hepatitis, A to E. Uh, we think that it's linked to a, a particular virus, but, but we're still not sure about that yet. When I say we, those very clever doctors in, in the laboratories are, 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 are trying to find that out. So yes, the things to look out for our children when they develop a fever, when they become unwell, that they also get that yellow tinge. I'm sure you've, you've seen children with people or adults with jaundice your, the whites of your eyes become yellow, and then your, eventually your body, the whole of your body becomes yellow. Uh, and that irritation, uh, and that in, yellowness also causes irritation, so you get a, a tremendous itch. Uh, so if your child is unwell and is yellow and is itching, uh, and may also have joint pains as well, then that's a sign that you are getting hepatitis and that you need to see a doctor straight away. And you need a lot of tests. We've been sent out, uh, again, another memo telling us what things we need to do to, to make sure that we haven't got the, the more serious sort of hepatitis. But we see them occasionally. There have been some reports in the newspapers saying that this surge could be because, yes, because of lockdown and the after effects, but also because of dogs. I mean, does that make any sense to you? Well, uh, obviously, I've had to do my research for you overnight. Uh, but the uh, yes, so the, 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 the staggering data on dogs in the UK, and I think around the rest of the world as well, is that 3.2 million more households now have a dog in their house than before lockdown. It's been an absolute surge. And uh, I, I've talked to patients who've got dogs. I mean, buying a dog nowadays is incredibly expensive. And that's because there is such demand for them, but for the for the for the you know well-known reasons of, of having a dog, uh, and diseases are linked to dogs. There are on the CDC website, which is the American health website, 110 different illnesses linked to dogs uh, and the and illnesses in humans. Um, and so yes, there are there are definite issues with um, illnesses being transmitted from dogs to humans. But I must say, I've been a GP for 40 years. I don't think I've seen very many problems. I think we've seen, we see the occasional attack of gastroenteritis from Campylobacter. That, that seems to be quite a common one, especially if you feed your dogs raw meat rather than cooked meat. But that's, that's the main one we see. So it's a very interesting phenomenon, the, the two big rises during lockdown, which is children's infections and dogs. It seems logical to think to see whether there is a link between the two. But I don't think I don't think it's any more than that at the moment. I mean, we wouldn't want people to be scared um, after us uh, talking about this. So is there any advice you could give to people in an ordinary household which could at least, you know, I don't know, reduce the risk of hepatitis in youngsters? Well, 
I, I, I'm afraid I'm not a, a, a dog owner. I remember as a, as a boy being surrounded by dogs with my parents, and I and I, that bit about raw meat is the only bit that I would throw in is is that I can remember my father carving out great chunks of horse meat and handing them to the Labr Labradors. Um, that's that's not recommended nowadays, and that you should certainly give your dogs uh, cooked meat rather than raw meat. Um, and and just make sure that you you know that, that you do practice good hygiene. Uh, and when your dog is ill, treat your dog as just you would treat your babies as well. Make sure they get the right sort of care as well. But yes, I, I, I think this is just one of the avenues that the scientists are exploring. So please don't get too excited about it. But it is quite interesting, isn't it? Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favorite shows, and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.